guys have been asking to make, I can't, it's broken Freya. Sausage rolls with me. Freya, hold your horses. Um, and you can make sausage rolls with store-bought puff pastry, but guys, I'm gonna show you a quick puff pastry first that is gonna blow your mind how simple it is and it is so delicious. And for me to buy puff pastry is $5 for a pound of puff pastry, which really doesn't make very many sausage rolls. To make puff pastry, I use one pound of butter, which costs me three to four dollars, a few cups of flour, which doesn't cost much, and I make three pounds. One batch of puff pastry makes three pounds. So it's so much cheaper and it's gonna take you like 15 minutes, okay? So first I'm gonna show you how to do that, and then I'm gonna give you another video in a couple days how to make sausage rolls. Do, is we're gonna take one of the balls. I need a bit of flour. Don't be afraid to add a bit of flour so that it doesn't stick to the counter. So we're gonna roll this into about a six by twelve rectangle, and this is just rough and you're not going to make it really pretty. You're going to just roughly roll it to about that size. And this here will just seal it back together. It's all good. Scale. So, it's about a 12 by six rectangle here. And what you are gonna wanna be fussy about is make these ends kind of square and to do that you can just pull them so that it's a little more square and that just that's gonna when we roll it out next it'll be happy and then we roll fold it like an envelope press it now we got our little packages now i got three pounds a puff pastry and they're gonna get put in a Ziploc bag and put in the fridge. So your puff pastry has rested for an hour and a half at least, mine's actually been like two days. That's cool. And now you're gonna choose what to do with it. You can do sausage rolls, like I'm gonna show you in a video in a second here. Or you could do like roll them out, cut them, line tart shells and do fruit or pie filling type thing. You can make, you can use it however a recipe calls for puff pastry, use this. So most packages of puff pastry are a pound, and that's why we split this into three pieces. They're one pound chunks. So you could also just wrap these and put them in the freezer to save them for a later date. Like if you wanted to make a big batch and freeze some, that's cool too. If these are a little too firm to roll, just let them rest at room temperature for 15 minutes and then try rolling them. These ones are destined for sausage rolls because we love sausage rolls.